God is saying, do not be caught lacking. Do not be caught lacking. God says you can do nothing outside of him. From the very beginning, God is the shepherd. And we are the sheep. We follow the shepherd. The shepherd leads us. Even according to Deuteronomy 31, 8, it is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or abandon you. Do not fear or be dismayed. This is why even the Lord refers to the lost sheep and leaving the 99 to find the one. Some of us are lost and don't even understand that we're lost. We are all sinners in the need, in, in need of a savior. That's why Jesus had to come because not one was good. Not one. God is stating, do not get caught lacking. Your position is behind God, not in front. That's why when he says, ask anything in my name and it shall be done for you. It's because he goes ahead of us. He came to this earth and he made, he, he fulfilled the law so that we could come behind him. He was the first of many brethren to come. Hallelujah. God is stating, what position are you in? He is before you. He has gone ahead of you. Do you understand? He has already overcame. Know your position in Christ. Ask anything in his name and it shall be done. God is stating whenever you, you come across anything, you know, think of it like this. It is God who goes before you. It is in the name of Jesus that you are asking for these things. As much as we know the power that Jesus carried and he walked the earth with, know that before you go into a situation, Jesus has already been there. Jesus has already overcame. You are following behind Jesus. You are the sheep. He is the shepherd. Yea, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I shall fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Do you understand your position in Christ? God says, do not get caught out here lacking. Outside of God, you can do nothing. That's why he says to abide in him. Abide in him. Constantly abide in him. It is Jesus Christ who intercedes for us. God says, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. You got to know what position you are in. You got to know who goes ahead of you, who has already prepared the way for you, who has made a way for you, who is the way. God is the door. God is your faith. God's word is true. God says, test your heart. Even to doubt is sin. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. We cannot have anything outside of God. God says, know your position and know the truth because the truth will set you free. And God is stating, get ready, be prepared, gird your loins. According to Jeremiah 1, 17 through 19, get yourself ready, stand up and say to them, whatever I command you, do not be terrified by them or I will terrify you before them. Today, I have made you a fortified city, an iron pillar and a bronze wall to stand against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, its officials, its priests and the people of the land. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you and I will rescue you, declares the Lord. God is always with you. And if you know he's with you, you know you can ask anything in his name and it shall be done for you. Know your position in God. <laughs> know who you are. Know the truth so that the truth will set you free. It is God who has already fulfilled the law. It is God who has went ahead of us in everything. We follow his lead. <laughs> So God is just stating, do not get caught out here lacking. Stay in him. Abide in him. Know who goes ahead of you. Know who goes before you. Know whose name that you carry when you walk into the room, when you face anything, any type of stress. Know his word. Know his voice. He said, my sheep know my voice. Another voice they will not follow. Hallelujah. So God is just stating, know the position. Know the position that you, that you are in. Know that he leads and you follow. And, and everything, everything is in the presence of God. Everything. Amen.